Hello everybody, welcome to NZ Real Estate's YouTube channel. My name is Natasha Collins and I am the founder of NC Real Estate. That's its members club for landlords and property investors who want to build a profitable portfolio that aligns with their goals. So for those of you that don't know, I'm also a university lecturer and here we are today in the university library. Um, it's an awesome place to come and sit, do some research, really get to grips on everything that's going on in the property industry. Everything surrounding us is all property investment and property related books. It's a pretty awesome place to be. Whenever you need some additional help or want to do any additional research, this is where you'll find me. Today I wanted to come to you guys and talk to you about something terrifying that I'm seeing across the NC real estate platforms and I want you to stop doing it. It is such a terrible mistake that actually guys, if you're doing it, you could put your whole property portfolio in jeopardy. So what is this mistake? Well, the mistake is that you are going over to free platforms and asking for advice and taking advice from people who are not professionals, who aren't qualified. You're just accepting that whatever they say is gospel and you're more than happy to then think, oh yeah, you know what, it's free. I'm not gonna bother paying for it. And then I'm just gonna implement that into my property portfolio. The thing here is that you have no idea whether what they're saying they were actually successful with, whether they've got any backup to prove that it's the right way of doing it. They're just giving you what they think you should be doing based upon some hearsay that they've heard. Or it might have been that they've done it themselves and you actually have no idea if they're successful with it or not. Then what you do is you go and implement that in your property portfolio. For example, people who are telling other people how to serve section 21 notices or section eight notices or evicting their tenants. How do you know that you're doing that? And how do you know that you're doing it correctly? If you get those sort of things wrong, you're not gonna be able to evict your tenants. It, you really aren't. So what I want you to start doing instead is yes, ask questions because that's how you learn. But I want you to make sure that you know that the source you're getting this information from is completely reputable. I don't want you taking information blindly from whatever Tom, Dick, Harry tells you. I want you to think, okay, why do they have this knowledge and why are they qualified to tell me? Now, yes, it may be someone has had the same experience and has successfully done something, in which case, yes, there might be a good background and a solid understanding of what to do, but you need to understand the process, not just a couple of lines in a Facebook comment that you think, oh yeah, they've given me some sound advice, I'm now going to go and do it. Again, what could the result of this be? Well, one, you don't comply properly with your health and safety regulation, in which case you can end up with huge fines, you can end up going to jail. Number two, it might be that they advise you how to evict your tenant, in which case you end up not being able to because your tenant simply goes to the local council or they go and get their own advice and they start playing you their own game, in which case you end up in court and the tenant is in the end able to stay in your property paying you on the drip. So what, 10p a week, a pound a week in order to pay up arrears? You don't want that, you could lose out so badly. So make sure you're asking questions. Of course, always ask questions. It's the most important thing you can do as you're progressing on your property investment journey. But make sure you're listening to people who are professionals, who have got that background knowledge and can give you solid advice. The consequences of not doing that and just taking anybody's advice are horrendous. They can cost you thousands and you can be out of the property investment game so quickly, you could lose your whole portfolio. So please take my advice, stop making this scarily horrible mistake and start asking advice of the professionals. Take my advice here, it is the most important bit of advice I'm probably ever going to give you. So I hope you've liked this video today. If you have, push like and remember to subscribe to this channel to make sure that you get all of the best knowledge, understanding and information from across the property investment industry. And if you are ready to take consistent action to build a property portfolio that aligns with your goals, then come and join my members club. And why am I qualified to give you knowledge? Well, because I am a chartered surveyor, my whole company is regulated by the RICS, so we have to give you best practice from within the industry. And yes, I do have the knowledge and the training and so do my team to give that to you. We're a firm of surveyors 
that specialize in helping you landlords and property investors build portfolios that really do align with your goals. So if that's for you, head on over to www.ncrealestate.co.uk where you will find all of the information about that. Thank you so much for joining me today and I cannot wait to catch up with you again soon.